Hello and welcome back. In the previous section, we worked with CDS and uh, we saw how to use AMDB methods and we got an example or we saw an example of using tabular type where the data is in the CDS and we are basically extracting the structure from our AMDB method where the implementation is done in native SQL. So this was the example. And um, what we will be continuing is seeing little more variation on AMDP before moving into annotation, which is going to be a separate topic, which we have been already working with. Annotation has been used a lot in CDS views, in the week one of this CDS professional and advanced course. And also we will be seeing multiple different type of annotation to expose data, to also help in uh, analytics. When you are having a UI, then annotations can give you those information. But before moving, uh, we should be seeing some more example with AMDP. So let's create an AMDP class. And what I want to do within this AMDP class is I want to have a variable within this AMDP method. And I want to do some operation within the method. How to do that? For example, the use case which we are going to follow is going to be very simple. We are going to query this SNWD underscore SO the header table and we are going to find the max value for our gross amount for any sales order. So all the sales order entry we have there in this table will find out what is the max amount and we are basically going to take that max amount and uh, first for the goal one or the first use case we will just get the max amount and get the sales order number and we will just put it in the screen. The other thing to elaborate or after we have achieved that, we will elaborate and try to use AMDP method within another AMDP method. So how to do that? For example, as someone can see, this is a object oriented concept, but still the paradigm which we think about can be a functional here. For example, if you have a method where you have done some operation which you want to reuse again and again in other AMDP methods then it is possible because you don't want to really write a lot of native SQL code inside all the method. So we will also see how to use a method inside of another method and um, as these are going to be some of the statements we are going to write in native SQL we will be seeing how to debug our methods to find if we have a logical error or a runtime error because the example which we have taken will surprise you when we get the result for sure. So if you are still not sure that how it will surprise you then just watch along or just bear with me for a few minutes and then you will know why the max value can surprise you in the test data as well. Okay, so I'm giving a lot of hints not to end the suspense here. So let's try to see and uh, implement our code here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new AMDP class. I'm going to use a lot of existing code from last class, but still it should be new. Let's create a new ABAP class. We'll say the name first the package should be temp local object Z underscore CL underscore AMDP. 03 demo mdp class okay so let's finish it and um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this entire piece of code and um, i will put it here and what i need is just the name of the class which is this and let's get rid of all the existing code and paste here and as well we have one more name here okay so what we have is we have a new fresh implementation of class where we can basically do our implementation for the methods now one thing which I would like to do this time is I'm not going to have this methods as a normal method I will define it as a class method so what 
I will be able to do is I will be able to get access to this method by just the class name, which is equivalent to creating a static method in a class where you can use the method by not creating an object, but by just using the name of the class. So that we will also do in the previous section where we try to implement our AMDP for CDS tabular function here. Then we also created this class method. Now what we will be doing or the advantage would be in our report is um, when user try to access the method, they just have to use the class name in the report as well, which we will see in a few seconds or a few minutes how to do that. Okay, so first I will try to create a table type, table type, sales order, and uh, just keep it that. Let's type standard table of SNWD underscore sales order. So this is the sales order table I have. And what I'm going to do here is let's have the name as get max sales order. Let's keep it simple and it should be not getting any import values, but uh, we would be exporting. First of all, I will be exporting a simple number which will tell how many number of max value exist in my table. So what I will export is number of columns which are having that max value. For example, it can happen that there is a 10,000 or 100,000 is your max value for the gross amount for a sales order. It can happen that 20 sales order or two sales order might have that particular amount. And um, I want to get how many sales order actually has that amount. And you can argue that these numbers will be in float. Then what are the chance that they will be having the same value? I will see that. So I will say LV underscore max count and it will be of type integer. So I will just mention here integer. Now the second value which we are going to get out of this function or method is um, the max value itself. So it will be LV max gross amount and this will be of type. So for that we have to go inside the sales order header just to see what is the type data type for the amount and uh, if we go here then the gross amount is of type this. Okay so let's put it here and uh, that's all. We can also have a comment here gives max value for sales order header and count of max value for gross amount. Okay, so this requires a space and uh, we will of course get a warning because we have not yet implemented this method. So let's go and implement this. So I'm going to copy this line from the method because I don't want to write the keywords again. Get max underscore so and uh, and method. Okay, so that was the structure, and we have an empty method. I will not be using the item table here, so I just need the header table and.